Our next recipient is Steve Roberts. Graduated from Centennial High School in the University of Missouri. He retired this year after 21 years as Missouri Farm Bureau's Northeast Regional Coordinator. High school, he was the FFA Vice President and earned the State Farmer degree in 1970. He worked 22 years in the livestock feed industry and ended up as a manager with Ralston Prina. He's a farmer himself, operating a farrow to finish operation and now operating a cow-calf operation. He and his wife, 45 years, Lisa, have two children, Nick Roberts, who's our regional coordinator for Missouri Farm Bureau, and their daughter, Dr. Elizabeth Roberts. He's also the proud grandpa of Ella and Derek Roberts. I want to personally thank Steve for all those rides to County Farm Bureau meetings. Thanks for his leadership, for our organization. His record of his district receiving uh, gold stars will never be broken. And his consistent ability, and I'm not going to list them all, but you know them, is a consistent ability to spot talented leadership leaders in their beginning years in our organization and help bring them through the organization will serve not only Farm Bureau, but all of agriculture for decades to come. If you could, if you could put together parts and build a regional coordinator, he'd uh, look like Steve Roberts. He's always optimistic, always able to see the good in every person in every situation, and he makes everybody around him better. Thank you, Steve, so much for what you've done for Farm Bureau, and congratulations on winning our Distinguished Service to Agriculture. Thank you, Blake, and thank you to uh, our officers, Dan Cassidy and Randy Campbell and all the board of directors for this honor. I consider it a very great honor. It's been a really wonderful 21 years for me working at Farm Bureau, uh, but you know, my ag industry over the years, the biggest part that's helped me in it has been my family and the encouragement they give me. My wife, Lisa, 45 years, we met in high school and and uh, got married a long time back. And uh, my son, Nick, now works for Farm Bureau as a regional coordinator. He was raised taking care of pigs in the finishing house during those years. My daughter, Beth, was, is now a medical doctor. When she was in medical school, she would bring the kids from the hospital or the doctor students out to the farm and teach them about agriculture and uh, the industry that we love and everybody in my family loves. Uh, Nick's wife, Liz, the mother of my two grandchildren, Blake mentioned, uh, works for the Department of Agriculture and was raised on a turkey farm as she was a girl. So we have great ties to agriculture. I want to thank, first of all, Jack Maxwell for giving me the opportunity to go to work at Farm Bureau back 21 years ago. And it's been a wonderful 21 years. Farm Bureau is an absolute best family you, group you can get involved in. I see all the people out here, you're all family to me, and uh, for years to come. I want to thank Eric Vollmer for uh, leading the field staff today. He does a tremendous job doing that. Uh, and longtime regional coordinators that I worked with my entire career and learned from, they taught me a lot, was Greg Gaines and Ed Holhubner. And I want to thank all the county leaders for all the 19 County Farm Bureau boards all over Northeast Missouri that I've worked with for 21 years. There's hundreds of people that have been involved. Um, they work with the staff. I'm particularly proud that we were all able to work together with all of agriculture in the state of Missouri to pass Amendment 1 and put the right to work or to farm in the Missouri Constitution. Uh, that was a tremendous effort and a pretty tough battle. We had lots of those battles over the years on different issues and campaigns all over uh, Missouri that has always benefited and helped agriculture to grow and be what it is. Uh, we just always work as a team in Farm Bureau and that's how we get things done and why we're the largest farm organization uh, in, or in the state today and I'm proud of that. One of my favorite parts of my job as a regional coordinator and there's many parts that we do is surfacing new young leaders, Blake mentioned, and I'm just uh, I've enjoyed working with our Young Farmers and Ranchers program. 
our collegiate kids at uh, uh, seven different chapters around the state, and uh, FFA and uh, youth and 4-H youth that we do lots of things with. Three people I'm going to mention that I'm particularly proud of that were uh, came up through, uh, were in our young farmer group that I uh, had to do a little arm twisting to get on there, and but I think they've done pretty well. Uh, first one was Todd Hayes. We met in Hardy's at, in, in Monroe City, Missouri, and I convinced him that they should get on the committee, and, and uh, that's worked out very well. And this, the next one uh, is Chris Chin. I've known the Chin family for years. Chris and I have ridden, like Blake mentioned, to thousands of miles together to cars in a car going to Farm Bureau meetings out of countless meetings and events and, and so forth. And then now the, young, the newest one uh, that we that started in that's doing a great job and going to be a real leader in agriculture is the future for us is Drew Locke. And uh, each one of them, you just, you know, sometimes you have to give a little nudge, but then you look what you get after that. And uh, so anyway, it's been a great honor for me to be in Farm Bureau. I've, the friendships, I have made so many friendships, it's countless, and I enjoy working with everyone here. And thank you so much for this honor and your support over all those years.